Hey, if you've reached this video, then most likely you're a MathCAD fan by now. Or, if you're just curious, you can see what MathCAD has to offer by checking the videos on this channel and then download the free trial to test it yourself. What we're going to see here are some tips and tricks that can make your work faster. You'll see how you can expand your workspace, use the notifications you receive in the software to put your calculations on the right path, achieve an advanced level of design and protect your IP all at the same time. So there's a lot that we can do and we'll go through some examples in different areas to see how to improve the flow and reduce time and effort. We'll begin by creating shortcuts for pieces of software that we intend to use more often. As an example, we'll add the image button from the math tab to the quick access toolbar by right clicking on it and selecting this option. Then right click again and select Show Quick Access Toolbar below the ribbon. It means that from now on, it'll be listed on this white area on the top of the worksheet. Now you can start using it. Click on it, browse for your image, insert it, and reduce if the case to fit your worksheet. You can remove the buttons you add to this area just as quick. A number of features is available also when you simply right-click in Limbo anywhere in the worksheet. Now, click again on this option to suppress the Quick Access Toolbar. Right-click on any tab and select Minimize the Ribbon to create more workspace. Switch to the draft view to see outside the printing limit, add more stuff without the need to scroll down. Click or drag the zoom slider to increase or decrease the zoom level. Double click to reset to default. Check out and apply the keyboard shortcuts to get more writing speed. MathCAD has a list of keyboard shortcuts that you can consult or you can simply hover over the buttons to see them. Now let's dive in into more distinct aspects by covering different features. Be careful with naming your data. In the example, when we evaluate C, labeled by MathCAD as a predefined constant, we see the result for the speed of light. If we define it as a variable, then of course, its label will be set accordingly. And if we choose to redefine it later, then the redefinition warning tells us that this expression redefines a previously defined variable. Same in the case of other math structures. Let us enable redefinition warnings again to see it. Disable regions to write math without it being taken into consideration in further calculations if you don't want them to. For matrices, use the quick buttons to insert or delete rows and columns. Select multiple regions, right click and click on separate regions to skip the step on having to move an individual region. Variables can be defined globally once per worksheet, and you cannot override a global definition using a local definition. MathCAD will inform you about it through error messages. At the same time, you'll be able to see where the global definition took place. If you're trying to define something globally one more time, then you'll be warned about it again. Put the cursor somewhere, right click and press remove space to fit the data with no blank spaces. Use both math formatting and text formatting to choose your font and make your worksheet colorful. Make your large formulas entirely visible within the page view by using the equation break operator. Repeat as many times as needed. 
protect your intellectual property by inserting the information into collapsible areas that can be password protected. Collapse by right-click. You'll see that this practice is better when you have a bigger amount of information and then you don't need to scroll all the way back to the beginning of an area to find the Collapse button. Press F1 to search in MathCast Help for the topics you're after. You'll be driven to an online version of the Help page that will be updated if the case. This, in the situation where you did not opt for the checkbox on local help in the installation process. Use the chart component for customized plots. Some of the differences between the 2D plots created in it and the ones on the plus tab are listed here. The app provides an interface from where you can make all the necessary adjustments. Back in the workspace, if you want to personalize it even more, you may add a page frame and frames for header and or footer. You may also want to hide the grid. When saving as PDF, it'll lighten up the aspect of the file. I hope that these tips were helpful and I thank you for your time and attention.